Welcome to our YouTube video on basic Excel formulas for job interview. In today's competitive job market, proficiency in Excel is highly valued by the employers. In this video, we will cover essential formulas that every job seeker should know. That include sum, average, sum if, count if, and concatenate function. Whether you are a beginner or looking to refresh your skills, this tutorial will provide you with the fundamental knowledge to excel in your next interview. So let's dive right in and boost your excel expertise. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. The first function that we are going to learn is the sum function. To understand this function, we will be using this student marks example. The syntax of the sum formula is equal sum bracket start number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on and then close the bracket. So I am writing the formula equal sum bracket start and then select the marks in first subject. After this I will keep pressing the control button and select the marks in all the subjects and close this bracket and press enter. So I calculated the total marks in all subjects. Now the second method is I'll write equal sum bracket start and now select all the cells that you want to add and then close the bracket and press enter. Now I will show you the third method to add these marks that is using the auto sum function. For this purpose I will go to the auto sum button under the home tab and press it. This will give me the range of cells that I want to add and then I simply need to press enter. So this is how you can add number by various method using the sum function in Excel. The next function is the average function. In general to calculate the average we need to divide the sum of observation to the number of observations. The syntax of the average formula is equal average bracket start number 1 comma number 2 comma and then so on and then close the bracket. To calculate the average in this example I will write equal and then select the total marks and divide it with the number 7 because there are 7 subjects and then press enter. The other method of calculating the average is the use of average function. For this purpose I will write equal average and then select the marks in all the subjects, close the bracket and press enter. So this is how you can calculate the average of different numbers. Now our next function is the sum if function. The sum if function in Excel is a powerful tool for calculating the sum of values that meet specific criteria. Sum if allows you to add up only the values that satisfied specified condition. With just a single formula, you can efficiently perform conditional summing and analyze data based on your desired criteria. The syntax of the sum if states sum if bracket start range comma criteria comma sum range and then bracket close. I am going to apply this formula on this sales sheet in which I have items, rate, quantity and amount. So if I want to have the item wise total quantity of the sale or the amount of sale I can use this formula. So I will write equal sum if bracket start and then first select the range and I have to write comma and then I will give the criteria that I will write in this cell. After this I will write comma and now I will provide the sum range. After this I will close this bracket and press enter. So now if I write any item like for example CD it will give me the total quantity of sales of CDs. If I write RAM it will give me the total quantity of sale of the RAM. Similarly, I can apply this formula to calculate the total amount of sale. For this purpose, I will write equal sum if bracket start. Now I will give the range that is the type of items, then comma, then the item, 
then the criteria that is written in this cell comma the sum range that is in this case is the amount and then I will close this bracket and press enter so you get the total amount of sale of the RAM now our next function is count if function the count if function in Excel is a handy for counting the number of cells that meet a certain condition whether you need to count specific text number or dates count if simplifies the process of data analysis by providing a quick and accurate count based on your desired criteria the syntax of the count if states equal count if bracket start range comma criteria bracket close to apply this formula i will write equal count if bracket start then select the range comma the criteria and then bracket is close and press enter now if i write cd it will count me the total number of entries for the CDs in this list. If I write RAM, it will count me the total number of RAM entries in this list. Now our last function is the concatenate function in Excel. The concatenate function in Excel is a versatile tool for combining text from multiple cells into a single cell. By simply providing the cell reference or text string to concatenate, you can effortlessly merge data and create customized combinations. The syntax of the concatenate states equal concatenate bracket start text1, comma, text2, comma, and so on, and then close the bracket. To apply this formula, I will write equal concatenate bracket start and then select the first cell then comma and now because I want to put a dash between the house number and the block so I will write dash in inverted commas then comma the next cell that I want to join then again comma and now I will put space in inverted commas because I want to put a space between the block and the town then comma then the town then comma then space in inverted commas again comma the next cell that is the city name then comma and space in inverted commas then comma the next cell that is the country name and then close the bracket and press enter so now you can see that you have generated the complete address based on the different entries of house number, block, town, city and country. Now to get the address of the other entries, you just have to drag it down. So think about if you have 50 or 100 entries and you have to write the complete address manually, it may take a lot of time. So address for all the entries is calculated in seconds. And there you have it. We hope you found this video on basic Excel formulas for job interview helpful. By mastering these essential functions, you can impress your potential employer with your data manipulation skills. Remember to practice these formulas and explore additional features in Excel further enhance your proficiency. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Thank you for watching and best of luck in your job interview. Until next time.